Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Callie, and this is another weekend of Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. So in the month of June, we talked a lot about legato and air support and embouchure and tone quality. In the coming weeks, we're going to talk a little bit more about articulation and coordination, and we're gonna take what we learned last month in all of the videos, and we're going to apply it to this month in refining our articulation. Before we do that, I wanna say thank you patrons so much for your support. It really, really means a lot to me. And I haven't told anyone this, except until now, but I actually have a big surprise in store for my patrons. And I'm going to release it to you guys in the next couple of weeks, but um, just know that it's going to be really good and it's a huge, huge thank you. So if you're not already supporting my channel, please consider supporting my channel for as little as $3 a month. I have a link below and you can check out different perks and things. It includes one-on-one -on -one meetings, uh, special patron events once a month, and all kinds of other things. So I hope to see more of you guys there. All right, so these little etudes that I'm playing for you today are um, in 6-8 time, and I know we're going to talk a little bit more about articulation and things, but um, I thought for the next couple of weeks we would actually kind of stick with this concept in 6-8 time because a lot of us don't get a whole lot of experience um, playing in time signatures outside of or for or cut time, okay? So I decided to include two pretty easy little six, eight time etudes. These two etudes are from the Dumbnut Studies and I have a link below. Patrons, you guys are getting this sent straight to your inbox. Everybody else, there's a link to IMSLP and you can sift through and find these etudes in there. Um, but they're two, they're, they're pretty easy. They're very short. They're both like three or four lines long each. And the first one I thought would be a good way for us to practice playing with our nice legato air and gently articulating the beginning of each group of slur notes just to kind of get the air flowing, the fingers going and get used to getting a nice clean articulation at the beginning of each of these groups, okay? Um, so, so that's pretty much that. When we're counting in 6-8 time, for those of you who don't know, it's typically two beats per measure and the dotted quarter note gets the beat. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Okay, that was very distracting. I have a metronome outside apparently, and I don't know my key signature. Let's, oh, it's somebody skateboarding. Do you hear that? I'm gonna play another beat. Ready, earn. So if you're thinking one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, you can kind of get that feel in. So, you know, it's kind of like playing triplets or something in four, four. Uh, the next one, also in six, eight time, you get a little pickup note on beat six right before. Um, this one, full staccato, everything nice and short and light and round. And it doesn't go over the break until the very, toward the end, and it just goes up to a low clarion D. So this is a good opportunity for you to practice clean and clear articulation without the stress yet of having to go up over the break, okay? So very clean staccato, very clean and clear sound requires that the tip of your tongue make contact with the tip of the reed. You don't want to pull back really far. You don't want to go down. If your tongue is already in a high position, and the tip of your tongue should already be pretty close to your reed. So all you have to do is touch the reed with the touch of a feather to the very tip of your reed, okay? Tip of the tongue, tip of the reed, touch of a feather, T all we have to do okay i look forward to hearing you guys put this up on the facebook group they're super easy even if you just play a tiny little chunk and put it up just to get yourself used to putting things out there for others it's a great group of people and i love hearing you guys post every week so don't be afraid to do so i have a link below in the face uh, of the facebook group in the comments here of the youtube video but for now that is all I have. So I hope you guys have a good weekend this week, a 
good week next week, and as always, happy practicing. Oh my gosh, this guy outside needs to just park his car. No one cares that your car is that loud. Go away. Thank you. And now the sirens. We're just going to wait. I should just close my windows, right? I'm not going to do that. We're just going to, you're going to hear it. Welcome to Chicago, people, where there's noise all the time.